So if you want to embed your Bitmoji classroom into Canvas and you want to be able to preserve the links that you've added to the classroom, then what you want to do after you get it completed, you'll come over here to file and you'll go down to publish to the web and you'll go ahead and publish and click OK. And then you're going to click on the embed tab and you'll triple click one, two, three, and you'll copy all of the uh, code right here. So we'll copy all that. Then what you're going to do, you'll come over to your Canvas course, your sandbox or whatever. And so if I want to embed it on my home page, which I have this set up as my home page, I would come over here to edit. I always like to get my cursor. I've already got stuff on here. So let me um, scroll down. I like to get my cursor um, centered before I start this. So notice that I've got my cursor is centered right here. Then I'm going to come over here to the HTML editor and I'm going to click and scroll all the way up to the top. You won't have all of this. It should be blank for you. And I'll come over here and I'm going to paste my code. And then I'll click back to the rich content editor and there is my Bitmoji classroom. And so when I update my syllabus, I have my Bitmoji classroom and my um, links are working. And this would be the same way you would follow this same procedure for any type of embedding of a Google slide. Just go to publish to the web and grab this embed code. And when you triple click, it's going to highlight all of the text and you'll just copy that and paste that in the HTML editor right here where all the code, everything that lives under the hood exists. And then I always like to go back and just make sure that it has been um, entered incorrectly. And then I'll hit update or create. Now, um, that is how you get your Bitmoji with uh, classroom slide in as a uh, embedded Google slide so that it does preserve your links so that if you, for instance, put a link to PowerSchool, then that would take the students out to PowerSchool. Any, the other good thing about this, any updates you make to your Bitmoji classroom will automatically come through. Sometimes there may be a minute or two delay, but usually it's not too long and it will automatically update.